often meld with the side blades. There's no protection understanding that he's still gonna be a sitting duck anyway, might as well try to dodge the vision. This is still you know mainly a farming land throughout, but it is Sonic that will look to be aggressive down bottom. Bottom. Have a go at Kanta, though he is barely gonna survive the Fata, never mind. Gonna catch him out on the Dazzle, does take him down. And once again, John, first blood is drawn by Sonics down at the bot lane. This time around, though, it's not- You're gonna feel pretty good about getting that aggression out, forcing your war all the way back to the base, in the region from the in. So, it's, it's giving a lot of time there. It's a nice cons back this time, Barter getting caught out, and... Well, he does actually have the Shallow Grave, so he can buy himself a little bit of time, but ultimately, the blocks are there. Jalous gonna make sure he goes down, and at least for RNG, they do get something for their trouble. Trying to get a lot of value out from that time, just getting the rotations out down middle. Trying for Somnus the Ember, dropping very, very low, but MSS unable to get the job done. It seems like he's the one to drop an RNG. Be able to keep Somnus protected as he does go for a quick reset. Sonics a little bit unlucky now with the Kaka to get the toss back. Dyer's middle tower back is under attack. Gonna show yeah. up now on the M button, really just find out where this Medusa's gone. They might just go right in for a dive. He's only level 4 in this Medusa. Nothing really to be afraid about it, but they even have the black hole if they need it. But they won't. Your one is going to drop. The squid. He's going to try and force a fight out of this, but the toss is there. He's looking rather unhealthy as now the black hole is out, but it does get cancelled. It won't matter though, they already found Quinn. The Sonic. Something. And that is going to be Chalice on the Enigma. But they lose Behold, so much in the process. Arthur and MSS looking to play top. They are. That's now. Radiant in a bit of danger. It's going to be just fine. MSS the one to move in. And Kaka now the one in trouble. We'll go for a bit of a run out. Anna. No, never mind. They want the big target. Do they have a stun though? They have a swap. And that'll be enough for them to secure Radiant the kill. Anna does attack. drop. And that's a massive kill for, for Sonics to try and secure. A little bit more now. Killed. Quinn. We'll have a look around. Sun is out though. He has found X Nova. Or has RNG found them? They'll move in on to Fada. Trying to go after the Dazzle Burns and Sonic even shows up and now a black hole. Chalice catching both of them in the black hole. And eventually, it doesn't end up being the worst trade in the world for RNG. You still lose that pause 1 TA, but you at least find a decent trade for it. The Coil. Oh, never mind. It's not so much of a decent trade. They got Kark on the Tiny. And suddenly the trade looks a lot better for Sonics. And uh, just catch a bit of a straggler. Kaka just running around looking for a little bit more. Maybe looking to swing towards mid to get something done. Does get punished in the side of Sonics. Radiance and they're still a little bit behind, but you have managed to put a lid on Ana just a bit. And just slow down that TA timing, although. Fata. <laughs> well, not too hard of a kill to secure on Fata. They go for a run with the pig pole, but eventually Somnus will have his way with it. RNG. Dyer's top tower. Moving forward, trying to find a few more targets. Then it says, pop the fire blast here from Exova. Eventually they'll move in with Somnus. Yeah, another nice easy pick off here for the Ember. A double kill for Somnus as they move to step mid T1. They'll secure. Oh, and suddenly RNG. Really getting aggressive though, Anna. Top lane. Moving on to Bleslau now, so even more kills to come the way of RNG, it seems, Zex Nova. To move in with the stun, and it'll set up perfectly. Anna, he'll take the kill for himself on the TA. And RNG, they are looking pretty darn clean so far for game two. Let's get out with the orb, but it's really... Feel confident it doesn't seem or he does now with the green coil. He'll catch the orb, but Solar Guardian is gonna be there to follow up as they do break the coil eventually, but Chalice is gonna drop and so will X Nova. Great setup there from Quinn. Fana and the tip over immediately is now Sonic they can focus on Sonic, they are playing very, very safely here and just not gonna give the opening away. Maybe even force a fight on their end of things. Green Coil is there. Chalice already caught out. This is well. They'll go for the swap onto the Enigma. Kaka in the meantime with a very nice Avalanche cross combination, but it won't matter. Quinn is going to survive. Never mind, he won't. Hex Nova still finds the kill on the Ogre. 
But Private Chase is down and punished now, but Anna has joined the fray. They'll go after MSS on the Dawnbreaker and they'll... G, not done yet. They'll taste down Lesla on the bench for Fitter. Now it chains out. Thomas will find a third target. Make it a fourth as Lesla. Certainly not making it out of this one. A triple kill up by Anna. And with the Deso up, they might be able to actually force Roshan. They've got a really good timing. In Link up now the Enigma. So suddenly you're going to have some great initiation from Chalice. Yeah. It does make it a lot easier for Chalice to get that black hole. It's, it's not even necessary in these fights. Right? Like, they're still managing to find all these great angles without that spell. Yeah, so just get caught out, so at least they'll find Farter as well. We'll pick off there once again from RNG, and Chalice will happily take the kill. Go, Kaka. Onto the vents this time around. They've actually found another. Leslau. Kind of getting caught with his pants down there in the mid lane and taken out so easily. And suddenly the officially on middle talents. Under under RNG attack. understanding all the resources expended. No stone gaze. Easier time to get Radiant a black hole, especially if you catch Avenge. And they managed to clear out the tier Dyer's 2 bot. So Outpost is under, under control attack. of RNG now. Mid lane. Kaka is there with another great avalanche plus combo. He's found two of them. Leslau, he might just lose his remnant. Well, maybe not, but they'll lose Sparta instead. Oh, Chalice with a black hole out. He's caught Yawar on the Medusa. A nice swap away, but it's not going to be enough. Yawar, still within range banner, is going to go down. A triple kill for the TA now. And well, for old Sonic, it, it just feels like they've got no chance out onto that tier 2. They could find several targets. Leslau is in a prime position, but they've got good forward boards. Uh -huh. Not quite the top he wanted. It's not an illusion. Leslau, whatever a swamp, the Chalice have the Lotus Sword. Taka, they'll be focused down. Chalice will just go for a midnight pulse and back his way out as you are. Already popping the Stone Gaze defensively. In the meantime, Thomas finding MSS. He'll get called up, but he still seems to be just fine. They try to down, but they don't have the damage. Sparta's down again. Anna just cleaning up as he'll get ripped a new one here. RNG making it look so darn easy. Grouped up as a team. Somnus his way up to the high ground of that radiant triangle, but back his way out immediately as quick. He'll make the jump in, but he only finds the ogre in that coil and Somnus. He'll happily force the fight. Again, aiming down the Dazzle. He's already found Farda. No for more now. They spot out Yawar. He's trying to force down on this now, but Yawar, he's going to try and force the fight with the Stone Gate. A great cross back once again onto the Medusa and now the Black Hole. It's cancelled off, but what does it matter? They've already got the Medusa down. Everyone's just falling. Left, right, and center here for the sign of Sonic. There's just no chance of survival. The only survival is Quinn. Sitting here for, for the side of Sonics, and well, another thing to consider right now is the fact that RNG are going to take down this Roche. They're coming, though they are rushing their way over. They will just put that on to Anna. Maybe they can set up here. So Anna is going to line but barely. Might just drop a great avalanche, but eventually they will find the TA. Not a bad start here for Sonic. Squid, he does go down, but he'll buy it back. Onto the pot. Trying to make his way back here from the team fight as they do find Leslau. Squid, here he comes with that buyback. Trying to finish Sonic. Dallas. We'll go for a TP up, but won't quite make it. They do stun him up, so he has to go for the fan fight. Yawar Tata also trying to run, but they do take him down eventually. Radiant's Sonic top tower is under attack. now have control over the Roshan pit, and RNG is up to them whether they want to get their own buyback to try and force this fight. And it seems like they do. Taka commits. That's not going to be enough, though. They might need the TA to commit that buyback. But it's a slower rush one. It's not taking it's way too slow. There's enough time to run up and force the play. Just fly back now from Anna. Roshan is slowly going down. Mark up. I need to rush in. They've got vision now. Ola Guardian is there to try and get them help. It's healthy as they do end up getting the Aegis onto you are an MSS. Already gone, but so is Taka. It's a dieback immediately on the tiny. Nana now, and he just fought back, they don't really want to die like this. Leswell, he might lose his 
first life, but he's still got the remnant available on Anna. He might die back on the TA, and he has. Oh boy. RNG, what have they done? Two diebacks here. Yeah, Quinn even dying back himself in the puck. And now another team fight to break out. Kaka. Gonna be okay, and so will Leslau. Now looking for a jump back in though on the Vengeance team. Under attack. Uh, guy, he'll make the jump in himself. Find that initial line. He pulls his own line for that, though, but here comes RNG. They want to fight now. Farda, immediate target. Chalice, he's still got the BKB black hole available. Rather just the black hole, but he doesn't need it. He just doesn't need it. Onto Yuan they go. They've got the Medusa locked down once again with the Stone Gaze. He's gonna buy her the space she needs. Could head down bottom, go for the Megas if they really want to, but they might choose to play it safe. Thomas, Boyle is there, Quinn, going to try and set up with the BKB, it was available for Thomas, so Leslau has to swap him out, but there's your black hole, and then immediately on Quinn, look, has taken out with that flyback, onto Leslau they go, they want the Avengers wall, they'll find a bench, no problems, two down now for Sonic, we'll put the flyback on Leslau, that probably not, is, is probably not going to stop the fact that the tier 3 tower is going to drop eventually, and so will the bot rack. They've got to find a way to successfully fight RNG here on the high ground. They're going to try with the pop. Uh, Radiant's bottom Smoke is there. An avalanche oh. is out once again from Tarka. Into the fast back. He wants the die back from Lesnar. He might just get it. In fact, they will. They do drop X over for this, but Anna moving right in on the TA, finding another target. In fact, there's Sparta. A third one man as he wants it. This might just be GG. He's just going to call it here. Butterfly board out for you while, but it does nothing. It's it's bizarre and mean. Seriously, it's gonna end up in a 1-1, one -one, Jonathan. It keeps the pace for RNG, finding a draw earlier in the day, keeping up the draw here with Sonic. Sonic's unfortunately not able to pull your after their 0-2 loss, but they do a great job in putting a great fight up against RNG. Game 1, of course, went their way. Uh, it was a great comeback from them to hold out.